So here we come finally back to some more FIFA 16 if you could make a career mode here today. So it's been a long, long time and I just completely forgot that I even had this series. But I thought I would start it again. And I thought I would start it again with some improvements that you're gonna see throughout this video. It's pretty much just improvement to make like the series more realistic. I guess as realistic as possible almost. Like I'm just gonna do whatever I can too much. But if you don't remember last time, then we played our two first matches in the group stage. We played against this team that I don't remember how to pronounce, and this team. But we won both games. We draw the first match 1-1 against yeah the team, and then we won the second match 2-0 against the team. Yes, and today we're gonna play against this team. So we have defeated Caroba and Sporting, and now we're gonna play against the last place Saragossa. I played two matches. And have them won any. So, you sure could do that. And of course, Cornelius is the top scorer. Woo! Yeah. Okay, but we're gonna train some people. So, Cornelius, if you also didn't remember, Cornelius is injured. Like, it's just, it's just horrible. So, we're just gonna train Jurgensen instead. Oh, and that's right. We need to buy a new striker. And then I also want to, of course, train Sanka, because he's just amazing. Like, for real. And then here on goalkeepers. We're going to train no other than uh, ourselves. I mean, like, we're just going to be amazing. Look at this. Look at how much. And then the midfielders, we're going to train Amate because he is just an amazing, outstanding player. Like for real, in real life, he's worth so many money. Like he's just, he's just worth so many. I, I, I'm serious. And last but not least, we're going to train Augustinson in freaking free kicks, like. He is just already amazing with kicks, but he has just become much better. Gotta simulate them all, gotta simulate them all, bada pow! C and a D and a C and a B and an A! Amazing. A surprise for it for fans of FC Copenhagen as their team snuck away with a 2 win over Sporting Gijon in the last preseason friendly. Fans received another threat in the form of Kusk's first showing alongside his new teammates at FC Copenhagen. Although simply a friendly match, the game gave the FC Group Make supporters a chance to size up the new main from Denmark. So while we are searching for a striker, here we go, the match against Saragossa. So of course some of the players is tired from the last match, so I've decided that I'm gonna do some changes. One of them is I'm gonna change Kursk and Mankwa, Chris and Henriksen. And then we're also going to change Jorgensen, I know it's you no know, big risk because he's pretty much the best player we have. And then we're going to put in Freeman. I haven't even seen him play in real life, so I have no idea how he, how he is, like, for real. So I can't really do no more changes because we need to win this safe and secure, win this tournament, we get some money, so we can buy some new players. So yeah, let's just get into the match. So yeah, well, here we go, the match is kicked off. Take advantage of that fail right there, yes. Look at the sentence there with a free kick, yes. Thank you, ref. Yeah, thank you. Very much. Augustinson is going to take this shot from here. He can actually score. Like, it's, I'm not even lying. He can actually score. Close, but, you know. Get that. Yes. Mate, come on. No. Take the shot, but here we go. Yes. No. Yes. Look at the ball. Look at this. See him. Yes, he's running. Look at this. The new players. Aman Kva. Oh, the new skills. Oh, what a sight. Okay, if we haven't scored like until the half time, then we're gonna put it on attacking. Like, we just need to. And that is half time. And we need to do something, because this isn't going as planned. So, right now, it is half time between FG Copenhagen and Saragossa. The goal score is still nil nil. Now, we're gonna look at some moments from the first half. As you can see here, FC Copenhagen has an attack here on the left side of the pitch. And they throw it away, and as you can see, it's actually really good here, because look at this, bam! Saragossa just clears the ball, and that's pretty much a good side of how these two sides play. FC Copenhagen get a lot of pressure on, and Saragossa like, play more defensive, and look at this, it pays off right here, as you can see, Saragossa with the attack. But of course, FC Copenhagen right back, and they just need to stop it. And also, as you can see here, Saragossa has four shots 
one on target and FC Copenhagen only has one shot. And of course the Rikosa also has 62% possession and that's a lot if you think about their playing against FC Copenhagen. That's a really possession team. So that's, if they're playing really good, I'm, I must say. And the thing that FC Copenhagen need to do is this, that they just need to get their game working down there, pass it around, maybe get a great counter as they normally do, and just try to score or shoot, because if they don't shoot, they just can't score. So regardless, they just need to keep on playing their game, hope for FC Copenhagen not to up their game, because if they do, they're really on it, because I can see it. Right now, they almost can do it. If they just up their game a little bit, they can easily get to get a goal and score. So I regards, they just need to try playing like that. Hope that Copenhagen doesn't do better. And just pass around, wait for him to get tired, and then go up and score a goal. And now let's get into the second half. First of all, attacking. There we go. And now, the second half is on the way. And we're gonna dominate this half. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Look at this. That's some beautiful play. Really beautiful play, but just passing it back. I'm gonna wait for the movement. Wait for the right movement. And now we're gonna go for con. con Ref is in the way! No! Shh. Freaking idiot. Yes. No. Yes! Yes. Yeah. Oh, wait. Look. Yes. Yes. Look at this. Oh, Ref! Give him give him a card for that. Give him a card for that. That's the serve. What the hell? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Look at this. Now. Now the tables is turned, because now look at this, slowly. Nah, we're not gonna do it right away, we're just gonna pass it behind. Pass it around in the back, yes. Nice and slow. There's all the guardian options. Yes, yes, he's seen it, he's seen it, he's seen it! Yes! Amanka, go for one, go for one, go for one, yes, 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 yes! On the inside! Yes! No, what a save! What a save, and it's not even a corner kick! Whoa, no, no, no way! For real? How, how did that go in? How did he even... What? How was he even close to that? Yes, look at this. No! Yes! Come on! Babies, come on! Shoot! Yes! Finally! With that good so That's how we do. We are rounding down slowly. We're playing it down the fence. And then BAM! They're tied. We do like this. And BAM! We get the goal. To 1 0, 80 per minute, and we're gonna do a substitution here. I don't care. go. The victory is almost here, but it's not quite here. So we still need to survive the next minutes. Okay, we go, we go. Yes, look at that, look at that, look at that interception right there. Now we're just gonna pass it back down in the back, but of course, a lot of pressure here. And Augustinsson is all the way up here for some reason. But then look at this. It, he gets the ball. Oh, he blows the whistle. But we get the win. 1-0. Let's go. And the man of the match is yeah.